Hey, I'm Holly. This is Bo. I'm taking a few minutes while he's sleeping to record a video on how to survive your first week of breastfeeding. There's another video I'm doing on hospital breastfeeding and that's, um, you can check that out as well. This is that first week that you're home. Your nipples are gonna be sore, they might crack. Uh, you might be in extreme pain while your little one is nursing, but I wanna encourage you, it will get better. For me, it lasted maybe a week or two. I don't even remember now, he's three months old. These are some things that I bought that helped. These are called breast shells and they're hard on the back, silicone on the, hard on the front, silicone on the back. Got them on Amazon. And one of the things you can do to help your nipples heal is to dab some um, milk on them and let them air dry. Well, I had people here helping me and I didn't want to walk around with my boobs hanging out. So, which is easy to do, you kind of forget. You get used to having them out while you're feeding all the time. Anyway, uh, you can put these in your um, nursing bra or nursing tank and let your nipples air dry. It even keeps that material off of them while they're sore. Another thing you can do is put a little olive oil on a cotton ball and I would put some Kleenex in there and then the cotton ball with the oil on it and put that on my breast. Um, and that helps cool and heal your nipple. So I would highly recommend getting these. I use them now too. I've been nursing three months and I finally started leaking. Um, and I don't like using those plastic, um, they're like pads that you can get, that you just disposable nursing pads. I like using these because they, I don't know, they feel better instead of having that plastic against my nipple. Second thing I got that helped are these hot and cold chill pads. I picked these because they're fabric on one side. You can put them in the freezer and for about a week or two, I would stick those in my nursing bra to help cool. So that's surviving getting over the pain. Another thing you're gonna wanna do is start storing your milk. And I was doing that because I was born right at the beginning of the COVID pandemic. There was a shortage of formula and I had trouble with my milk coming in. So I was pumping once a day to store milk as a backup in case I ran out and there wasn't any formula. Um, but anyway, it's just a good practice to get into to have milk handy. These I like, I bought a hundred of them. They've got a little place you can label and they have ounces on them as well, but I want to warn you that depending on how you have the bag set, um, the milk will be in a different place. So I would measure it out first and then dump it in there and, and write the measurement out. The other thing I learned is it is best to store them flat. So when you put them in the freezer, lay them flat, that way they dry nice and thin and they're easy to stack up in the fridge or freezer. If you don't, and even if you do, you'll end up with a big mess of milk like this, which I've said that I'm gonna organize and I haven't done that yet. Um, another thing I wanna warn you about is make sure you get something handy like this. That's backwards, but it tells you how long milk is good for, if it's setting out or in the fridge in the freezer and a mistake that I made early on was um, I was leaving milk in the fridge for a few days as a backup and then freezing it and all of that milk went sour. So now anything that I freeze, I freeze right away instead of leaving it in the fridge. And I might leave some in the fridge as a backup, um, but I don't freeze it. Instead, I heard of people using that milk for little cuts or scrapes or um, just skin in general to help heal. And so if I have milk that's been out a little bit too long, I might use that. My son has cradle caps, so I rub it on there. Um, and that's another video I'm gonna do. But I wanna encourage you to breastfeed. When um, people, before I was had Bo, people would ask me if I was gonna breastfeed. And I would say, well, of course I'm gonna breastfeed. That's why I have breasts. And it was so hard. But let me just tell you, after that first week or two when you're sore, it's going to get better. 
He'll learn to latch better. You'll learn to help better. Your nipples will get used to it. And there is just nothing that replaces that feeling or that blessing of your little one when they finish eating and they get a little smile on their face and they drift off to sleep. It is the best cuddle ever. So I want to encourage you to breastfeed. If you're struggling right now, keep going. You'll make it and you'll be so rewarded for it, as will your little one. So good luck and I'll see you in another video.